Hi, it's Tom here and welcome to another Gradle best practice tip. And if you've ever had the feeling that your build script just seems to be getting larger and larger, then in this video I'm going to show you how you can extract common task declarations into a plugin in your build source directory. And if you haven't used the build source directory before, it's just a location in your project where you can put common plugins. And the advantage of this is not only do you get to clean up your build script, but you get strong encapsulation of your build task declarations. And you can also reuse these plugins between different sub-projects of a multi-project Gradle build. Anyway, the best way to explain this is with an example. And I've got a project right here, and it's got two sub-projects, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And if you're not familiar with these happy fellows, they're from the book and film Alice in Wonderland. Anyway, the exact details of this project aren't important. What's important is that within these two sub-projects, we've got some duplication and we're going to benefit by moving that to the build source directory. But just on a high level, what happens within this project is that we have a quote in each sub-project. We've got a quote file here and a quote file here. And then from the command line, if we run Gradle W zip quote, it actually runs four different tasks. So within the first sub-project, it runs copy quote, where it copies that quote file into the build directory. And we can see that here. It's copied it into here. And it also runs zip quote, where it zips that up into quote.zip in the build directory. And it does that for Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Now, in terms of the build logic, it looks like this. So within the Tweedledee build.gradle, we've got a task declaration here. It's a copy task. And another task declaration here. It's a zip task. And we've got a depends on from zip quote to copy quote. And actually, if we compare this build.gradle with the build.gradle in the other sub-project, you can see that it's almost exactly the same except for one difference here, which is in this token. So when we copy the quote.txt, it does some token substitution, and the value that we use here is different. And you can see that in the quote.txt, we have this character, and when this file gets copied into the build directory, that gets substituted with this value here, Tweedledee, which in this build.gradle is configured here, and in this one, is Tweedledum. And if while you're looking at this project, you're thinking to yourself that this kind of looks familiar, maybe you've got a similarity in your own project where you've got tasks that are registered and they're kind of similar between sub-projects. And in that case, you're going to benefit from what we're about to do here, which is extract all of this into a plugin. And the way we do that is we create a new directory. It's called Build Source with a capital S. And this is a special directory that Gradle recognizes and it will compile anything it finds within here. And we define source slash main slash, I'm going to be writing this in Groovy. You can also use Kotlin or Java. And I'm going to define a package com Tom Gregory. So I'm just going to reload this project so that IntelliJ recognizes this directory. And here's my package, and within here, I'm going to define a new Groovy class. It's going to be called Wonderland Plugin. And I'm not going to go into every single detail of how to create a Gradle plugin in this video. What's more important is the concept of extracting build logic into a plugin. So I need this class to implement this plugin interface, and I'm going to implement this apply method. And now we're just going to take the code from the build.gradle of one of the sub-projects and just paste it right in here. Now we will have to make a change because now we need to reference tasks from project.tasks. And in a similar way, we need to reference the build directory as project.builddir. And since we're going to be having a single plugin, we need a way to be able to configure this character replacement token here. Right now it's set to Tweedledee, but what we can use is a Gradle plugin feature where we create a, a new class and it's going to be called Wonderland Plugin Extension. 
And it's really a way for us to be able to configure a plugin from a build script. And I'm going to define this class as abstract and add a single property here called character name. And the way this works is that within the plugin, I can create this extension by using this extensions.create syntax. And Wonderland, this string here, is the way I'm going to refer to this configuration within the build script. And now with this extension, I can replace this character right now with extension.characterName.get. The last thing we need to do in the build source directory so that Gradle will actually be able to use the plugin in the build script is to add a special file and it's in the resources directory. So let's create a new directory here. Resources. And it's in metainf slash gradle dash plugins. And within this directory, you create a file and the name of that file is the name that you want to reference your plugin by. So I want to reference the plugin by Wonderland. So it's going to be wonderland.properties. And within this file, you say implementation class, and then it's the plugin. So it's com.tomgregory.wonderland plugin. So right now I'm going to reload the project. And because I'm running this project in IntelliJ, it's already gone ahead and built this. And we can see we've got two classes that have been compiled, the plugin and the extension. So we can go ahead and start using this plugin. And it's super simple because we just say plugins ID is Wonderland. And then down here we configure the plugin and we say character name equals Tweedledee because we're in this Tweedledee project. And we can do a similar thing in the Tweedledum project, passing the different character name. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to run a clean first. And then I'm going to run a zip quote again. And we can see a lot more tasks are being run because Gradle needs to compile all the code within the build source directory. So that's what this is. But then at the bottom here, we can see our copy quote and zip quote are being run just as before within each sub project. And just to verify, we can see the quote string has been substituted, Tweedledee. And Tweedledum. So I think you'll agree now that this build.gradle is looking a lot cleaner and we've got a really nice separation of concerns because we've extracted those task declarations into a plugin in the build source. And not only have we done that, we've also reduced duplication because we can now reuse that plugin within any sub project in our Gradle build. If you'd like to hear about more Gradle best practice tips like this, then I'm actually releasing one tip every day for 30 days. So why not subscribe so you can catch up with all these videos as well as other videos in the future about other Gradle topics. So, I'll see you next time.